What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And lately there's been a lot of discussion going around talking about content and will there be enough content once the game is released. There's been a lot of YouTube videos made about this. I think there's a lot of people concerned considering Treyarch was kind of thrown into the fire uh, and saying you need to make another game this year even though you're not supposed to. The whole virus situation, people having to work from home. And a lot of people were kind of concerned that everything we saw in the beta weapon wise, uh, map wise, is going to be pretty much what we have when the game is released. Now, I would assume when it comes to maps, we're going to have more than what we saw in the beta, of course. But when it comes to weapons, I do understand why people are concerned. Um, we had 14 primary weapons in the beta. That's not including launchers, shotguns, pistols, that kind of thing. But we did have 14 primary weapons. I would assume the game would launch with more than that. But if I think back, Black Ops 4 did not have that many weapons at launch. All the weapons that we had in Black Ops 4, a lot of those were not added in until later on. So could we only see the 14 weapons that we had during the beta uh, when the game is released? Sure. Do I think that will happen? No. I, I think Treyarch probably held a few weapons back to kind of give us something new to play with once the game is out. I would just not assume that they would give us access to all the weapons and all the attachments that, you know, that last, that second weekend of the beta. And that's going to be what we see when the game is, when the game is out. I, I would not assume they would do that. Now, will there be a lot more weapons added in? Probably not. Uh, maybe one, two, maybe three, four at the most. There's been a lot, there's been three to four weapons data mined, which of course, you know how that goes. Uh, anything is data mined or leaked from a game, uh, from game files. Some of that stuff could be DLC weapons. Some of that stuff could be what they're going to add in with the battle pass later on. Uh, some of this could be things that are just in the game files that will never, will never actually get to see in game. You guys know how that kind of goes when things are in game files. It's not always come to light in game. Uh, not, not necessarily everything that is found anyway. Um, but I do feel like they're probably holding back a few things to, like I said, give us something new to experience once the game is released. But like I said, Black Ops 4 did not have that large of amount of weapons once the game, when the game was first released. There was a lot of weapons that were added in later on. Also something that I thought was kind of interesting the other day was of course the achievements were leaked for the game. And in the achievement list, there was kills for the AC-130. Now, I'm not sure if that is in single player or if that will be a multiplayer achievement, but that d makes it kind of interesting. That does kind of pique my interest concerning kill streaks. If they're showing a kill streak in the achievements, even if it is in single player, I don't know why it would be in single player and then not in multiplayer as well. Uh, I know there's a lot of kill streaks out there that are missing. Probably the two that are talked about more than any, of course, with the advanced like UAV, uh, the K-9 unit. Those are two, the advanced UAV has been in just about every COD in some form or fashion. Not all of them, but in some form, it has been in most of them. The K-9 unit, of course, was very popular back in the day in some of the older Black Ops games. And I think those two being in game would be really uh, neat. I, I think a lot of people would like that. There has been rumor that those two are in the files, but never any confirmation from Treyarch. I was kind of hoping we would get some kind of news from Treyarch since we're so close to launch now of Black Ops Cold War, some kind of information talking about maps, talking about weapons, talking about kill streaks, talking about things we didn't get to see during the beta experience. Now, when it comes to maps, I understand why people are concerned with this, because personally, I'm a big fan of 6v6. Modern Warfare 6v6 was not my cup of tea. It, it may be something you guys enjoy. I know a lot of people out there love Modern Warfare. That is perfectly fine. You know, everybody has their own opinion about games. But personally for me, I was not a big fan of the 6v6 in Modern Warfare. So that's why I'm looking forward to Cold War. I like the 6v6 feel during the beta. But the maps do have me concerned. Um, of course, you're going to have to have maps made for, you know, 6v6. You're going to have to have maps made for Dirty Bomb. You're going to have to have maps made for Combined Arms. And I know there's people talking about, uh, you know, what Treyarch said, that some of the combined arm maps, uh, Combined Arms maps are going to have smaller versions for 6v6. And if that's the case, that'll be fine. You know, you can shrink down some of those maps and add them to 6v6 to get a larger map pool. But at the same time, I feel like some of them, how, you know, I'm not sure how they're going to play. I guess kind of what I'm getting at. And I already have concern with two of the maps we had during the beta. Cartel is not personally my favorite. It's just too much camping out here in the weeds. Uh, it's just kind of goofy in my opinion. I think, I don't think all that, you know, bush and everything, the bushes should be there. But that's just my opinion. And then when it comes to Miami, there's still a lot of concern with the visuals in Miami. To me, Cartel and Miami are both hard to see other players. Uh, another issue I have with Cartel is it's fine on Domination. You know, if you played Team Deathmatch on Cartel during uh, the beta, it is very slow. 
And usually Treyarch games are kind of made to be faster paced Call of Duty games, as most of you guys know. Kind of those run and gun style games. So the maps are a bit of a concern to me. Even if they do shrink down some of these combined arm maps, will they still be too big? Will they still be that cartel size? I'm kind of curious to see how many maps we have at launch. Um, I mean, we've had small map counts in past Call of Duty games. You guys think back to uh, Modern Warfare, or not Modern Warfare, excuse me, World War II. Uh, there was only nine maps at launch, and that was a big disappointment. Hopefully, that will not be the case with this game. But like I said, I'm not sure, you know, what kind of time strain uh, Treyarch has been put on here. I'm not sure if they can pump out all the content that we have come to expect from Treyarch games in the past in this game just because of the situation that's going on. Um, I'm sure we'll get to see some remakes and things like that. I'm sure Nuketown will be back. I'm sure some of those fan favorite maps are going to be back. When, there, when has there ever been a Black Ops game without Nuketown? Uh, that may be something they're going to do to begin with. Maybe they're going to, you know, have a small map count, a uh, small weapon kind of pool count to begin with, and then put out, you know, something like the uh, the Battle Pass pretty soon and then start putting out, you know, remade maps and, and weapons, you know, pretty quickly into the game, maybe the first month in or something like that. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you think there's going to be enough content to please everyone? It's hard to please everyone. We all know that. But do you think there's going to be enough content to keep the, you know, the community you know, kind of happy until, you know, the season pass or the battle pass starts with each season like we have have in Modern Warfare. Because I think most people are assuming that's kind of how they're going to handle it. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. Uh, are you happy with the 14 weapons that we had in the beta? Are you expecting more? And what kind of situation are you expecting when it comes to maps being available in-game? Of course, if you like the video, guys, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, it does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, of course, they are the affiliate here on the channel. The community Discord and my Twitter are linked down there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.